Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another video. It is Tuesday morning. I have the week off of work. I just got back from spending Christmas with Alec at my parents' house in Holland. We got back last night and we're like all over the place just trying to like unpack. I have a ton more unpacking and like setting up and organizing all of my new Christmas presents today. So I'm excited to show you guys all of that. We are about to head out to go and get some groceries because I have absolutely no food. I do have coffee and I have a new coffee maker. So I'm excited to show you guys that when we get back from getting groceries. But just wanted to start the video here and we're gonna head out. I have a really fun, busy day. So a lot to show you guys. <laughs> This shirt I'm wearing, by the way, is literally just a ginormous long sleeve Skims tee. They're my favorite t-shirts ever. I also just got this one for Christmas and I got like the matching boxer shorts too. It's supposed to be a pajama set, but they're just so comfy and I'm wearing a big coat anyways, so I'm wearing it out. document our first car wash in the new car. <laughs> okay, we have got a lot of groceries. We ended up going to Whole Foods, which you saw, and Target, and then we ended up stopping at Nino's, just like a local grocery store, because there are a few things we still haven't found. Hi, princess. So I'm starving. We haven't eaten breakfast yet. It's like 11.30, but I'm going to quick put all of this away and then figure out what we want to eat. Our fridge is pretty much empty right now. I had like literally nothing. Cookies. I mean, some bread. We're going to organize the fridge a little now. You want to help? I need to do my hair today, so I'm just going to wear my hat for now because it's not gonna look great if I take okay. my hat off. <laughs> but Alec got me this hat for Christmas and it is so soft. So I've been wearing it nonstop. Got some festive little, I've been very into eating goat cheese with crackers. I feel like I've talked about this before because people are like, I thought you didn't eat cheese. I eat, I don't eat cheese from a cow, but I like goat cheese. And this one is like a cranberry cinnamon, and this is blueberry. Very excited to eat those. Okay, so here's the new kitchen setup. I pretty much rearranged everything, but... Right now, over here, we have the blender and then this little Echo Show, which is nice for having in here to like use for recipes, calls, all of that while you're in the kitchen. And then over here, we have still the same like uh, utensil holder. And then this is the new coffee maker, which is a different version than what we were going to get. This is the Nespresso Virtuo, I think that's how you say it, next. And we were gonna get the like plus, um, but they are literally out of stock like everywhere. And I think it's like a chip shortage thing actually of why they're out of stock. Um, this one is actually like the newer model, but when I had read reviews, there were people saying that they broke after like a month, but it does have like a two-year warranty. So I guess I'm not that concerned about it. We both made coffees out of it this morning and they were so good. And then this is the little milk frother um, so that you can froth your milk while your coffee is going. In this drawer, we rearranged some stuff and filled it up with, in this little container with all of the pods. So yeah, that's the new setup. I debated for so long about whether getting like a Nespresso or uh, like one of the Breville espresso makers, which are a lot more expensive, but I didn't know if that was like a worth it investment. But the nice thing about the Nespresso is that you can make the full coffees and you can make still like espresso shots. 
which I haven't tried yet. We did get some pods that are espresso shots, but you can make all the different sizes. So like if I can make a good, like decent enough, I'm not that picky about my espresso latte and have like different sized coffees. There's like big shots, small shots, medium, small, medium, large coffees. This one does like even up to like 17 ounce coffees or something. So it just can kind of do more. You just have to buy the different pods for it. Rory's playing with all the grocery bags and he's take out. Okay, I don't know if anyone remembers. On my old queen bed, I had a heated mattress pad. And at first I thought I was gonna hate it when Alec bought it. And then I fell in love with it. And we haven't had one since I got my new king bed. But we just got this one for Christmas and it has like all these fancy features that our other one did not. You can like control it from an app. It has like dual zones. You can do like just your feet and apparently it's voice controlled. So I'm going to set this up now. I'm very excited about it. It sounds like you wouldn't want, like it would be too hot, but it's just so nice. To we just turn it on like 10 minutes before going to bed and like let it get nice and warm so that when you get in under the covers, it's like warm. But then like right when we get in bed, we turn it off so it doesn't stay hot. You don't like sleep with it on but it just feels so nice to crawl into like a warm, cozy bed. So I'm so excited. And I think I'm gonna put it, we have like this cushioned um, mattress pad, but I don't, I'm worried I'll be able to feel it. So I think I'm gonna put it under this. I don't know, we'll see how squishy it is. Okay, this is like a whole, wait, this is like a whole mattress pad in its own. Am I gonna have two mattress pads if I do both of them? I mean, duh, it's literally called a heated mattress pad. But I really like the foam top one. I, I really like the one I have though. This one's so nice and squishy. This one doesn't feel as squishy. Is that really extra to have two? I might have two. And here we are. It is all set up. It's just the only sign is this little controller right here and I thought you could do like head and feet but it's just like two sides of the bed like the right side and the left side but I was thinking if we wanted we could switch it <laughs> I think our king bed's a square I feel like we could switch it and then have the feet maybe I, I could be totally wrong but it has a bunch of different settings and stuff and I Got it all set up. I had to, I put it on once and then put it on the wrong way and had to completely start over. But hopefully it feels good tonight. <laughs> Do you like the snow? Huh? Do you like the snow? It is quite a bit later. It is like 4.20 right now and I'm gonna leave in like 10 minutes for my appointment, which I am going and getting Botox. <laughs> I really keep saying that. <laughs> Sounds so weird, but so I got it like three months ago three or four months ago. I think it was like the end of August, beginning of September. And now it's a few days, like end of December. Um, and it is all worn off. And the reason I got it was not only just like cosmetic, although that was like part of it. I also got it to help with headaches, which is a huge benefit and why a lot of people get it. And I went to a PA to get it. So um, I like had a consultation first and pretty much I just have like one really big wrinkle right here that like really you can't see that badly right now like it's not all the way worn off but it's, this one wrinkle drives me crazy and you can see in any picture when I smile I would always like try and like blur it out because I was like insecure about it which is stupid like wrinkles are so normal and fine but anyways also now that since it's worn out my headaches are definitely coming back and I've noticed a huge difference and I also noticed myself like raising my eyebrows a ton and having that like bad habit back. So I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna get it again, blah, blah, blah. And now that the headaches are coming back, I'm like, okay, I just need to go get it again. Honestly, I don't think it makes like any difference really to my appearance except for that wrinkle. But I mean, it's pretty much like faded now and the wrinkle doesn't look like too horrible, but I know it's gonna get like worse and worse as it continues It's when it's, it's like completely gone and as I'm like raising my eyebrows a ton too. So. That was like a three minute rant about it. And I know I don't need to justify myself. I just feel like there's like a stigma around it, which there shouldn't be, but I know I'm like young, 
um so anyways i'm going to go and get it it really doesn't hurt it just makes like a nasty sound but it's not like anything like when i got my lips done and this is the same pa that also did my lips and i have not had them done again since and that's another thing that i'm like i really really like it and liked it it's already faded some and i don't know if i'll do it again i'm like fully supportive of anyone doing whatever they want those are like the first two like getting my lips done and getting botox are like the first cosmetic things i guess i've like ever done um but yeah we'll see i'm gonna ask her again about my lips because they still look like so natural like no one would think that i had them done it all because they were just so small before that now they're a little bit bigger but they don't look like like they look completely normal so i want to keep it like that um but i don't know when would be a good time to get it again so i'm gonna talk to her about that too get my botox and yeah that's what we're alec is gonna come with me because the appointment is like right next to the mall and we want to go to the mall afterwards because we have a few returns from christmas that we want to do so we're gonna do that i like took all my makeup off already except for my mascara because i'm like i'm going to the mall i don't want to look so embarrassing um but yeah that's all i just wanted to explain that a little and we're gonna head out not too bad just looks like red bumps but overall didn't hurt it was super quick we were, i was in there for like 20 minutes i waited in the car i'm so glad he drove me um he drove me because we're going to the mall but it's like not great out right now it's definitely like slippery it's not really snowing anymore but on the way here it was snowing a lot but super easy super quick it stings a little but i'm sure that'll go away and i'm just gonna like relax tonight not lay down and you just like stand or sit up for the next three hours or so so that's about it i'll update you guys tomorrow on how it looks how do you feel about it it looks great <laughs> it looks great you can't see anything Hi, Dave. She's coming up. Okay, these were the, that's the main bad one. That was from Ben slash Alex spilling coffee. And then over here, right there, there's like a matcha stain. That one came out a little easier, but also now I'm realizing the coffee table literally left such a big mark. Here it is before any furniture. It's like a really thick woven material, kind of a different look than the other one. I feel like it's almost a little bit more like wintry. Um, it's definitely a lot thicker and super soft compared to the other one that was really rough. So now we have to get the coffee table back on to here. And there we are. It looks very similar. <laughs> I think it's actually a little bit I think the other one might have just gotten really stretched out because it went further than this. I really thought about getting a nine by 12, but it like literally the couch is eight feet, so it just fits. And this is like a perfect, the 10 foot side is like, I wouldn't want it two feet further. I mean, I guess I could just put it further under the couch. I don't know. I figured I'd just stick with the eight by 10 and I think it looks good. Looks the same but a little different and not stained. Rory's excited about it. <laughs> She's like, what is this? It smells a little funny because it just came out of the packaging. She doesn't want to step on it. Wait, she's gonna jump. She's gonna jump from the coffee table to the... <laughs> she hates it. Come here, sweetie. Did that feel weird to walk on? <laughs> Good morning. I am about to head out to meet my friend for brunch. I just started my car for my phone, so I'm letting it warm up for a second before I go outside. But 
goodness, I'm having a rough hair day. If it's in a ponytail, you know it's not a good hair day. Um, but anyways, I wanted to give a little update on my face, which kind of, I did not sleep well last night because of it, I think. Uh, you're supposed to like not try and lay on it like the first night. Um, it'll be fine tomorrow, but I tried to lay on my back all night and I usually sleep on my stomach. So it was very uncomfortable. Um, I still have pretty good motion, I feel like. Hasn't done a ton yet, but it hurt a little bit last night, but not really. It just kind of feels like pressure on your head, but it's fine. That's the update, not much update. The like redness and bumps have gone away. You can't wear makeup on your face right afterwards because they don't want you to like push into it and accidentally like spread it. Um, so I just put a little like lightly brush some bronzer on my forehead to try and make it match the rest of my face, but there it is. Okay, I'm gonna be late. So I gotta go and I'll update you guys later. I am home and just got all cozy and picked up my mail, which is a bunch more coffee. I ordered from Target uh, a bunch of coffee for the Nespresso. So I got like this blonde roast, which I realized I ordered two of, which I totally did not mean to order two of, but it is what it is. I guess I'll see if I like it. And then I got a Pike Place um, just like the classic Starbucks coffee and then like a Starbucks espresso. I have a bunch of, I think I showed you guys this yesterday. Like we got like a bunch of fun flavors. That's an iced coffee. This is like a caramel or no, this is hazelnut, caramel and like vanilla. They're called like fancy things. Then we have even more still in the box, which is still sitting here because we want to make sure we <laughs> want to keep it. But I didn't want to open these ones yet because they're the ones that like came with it. Um, in case we end up wanting to exchange it for the other one like I talked about. But anyways, either way, if we exchange it for the other one, it still uses the same pod so it's like it doesn't hurt to buy more. And it was just super easy to get these ones off of Target because I'm like shopping at Target all the time. I definitely will order more off of like the Nespresso website of their fun flavors. I hope these are good, but if any of you have an espresso, let me know what flavors you like and what I should try because there's literally so many different fun flavors. It's like overwhelming and I don't know <laughs> which ones to get, but I wanna obviously get through some of this before I order more. I also need to figure out how to recycle them because they are recyclable and of course I wanna, I wanna recycle them, <laughs> otherwise I'd feel so bad um using two of these pods every day like at least if alex and i are both drinking a coffee so also if you know how i can do that let me know i'll like keep them in a bag or something and figure out how i can like once a month recycle them or something and then this i think i'm gonna hate so i don't even know if i should open it i just ordered this because i wasn't sure if i would need something like this it's like a it's a lot heavier than i expected like 30 bucks but it's like an organizer for them but i don't know where i'd put it because i ended up putting it in that drawer and i don't think i'll like the way it looks if i put it underneath it so i feel like this is just a fail but i also don't know where i'm going to store the extra coffee so maybe we'll just open this and see if i have somewhere that i could put it even for like secondary storage I know I'm not gonna want it sitting on the counter. Like it's not, I feel like it's not gonna be cute sitting there. Okay, yeah, so it's just like this big drawer that then you put them all in, which it looks like it'll hold a ton, which is nice, but like there's no way. I do not want that sitting right there. It would probably like just fit, but then the like utensil maker would be in the way too. I don't know, I could try it, but I already know I'm gonna hate it. <laughs> so I'll see if I can find somewhere else, like even in a cupboard to have it, cause that would be nice to have all the storage. But I also feel like this is like working just fine. I mean, this is not as organized, but it's like not terrible. 
I could like even, what if I just use the drawer? Oh, it doesn't come out. I wonder if that will work. Okay, I'm gonna mess with this. Yup, did it just to see and I hate it. <laughs> it's not staying there. Okay, as I was trying to find a spot for that thing, with which I think I'm gonna return it, I just decided to organize my entire pantry because especially like this shelf right here is horrible. I'm embarrassed of it. I just already started organizing this one. So that one's like done, but I'm gonna do all of them because I have the time right now and it's bad. So that is what we've started. <laughs> and I'm cleaning out one of these because I didn't really have anything in it and it goes up there. And I think I'm gonna put the extra pods. Although I love how this holds them, I just can't find anywhere that it looks acceptable. And I tried taking this part out and I got it out um, and putting it in here, but it's too, just too wide, which is really sad because I thought that would be like a good idea. Maybe I'll see if I can find one of those somewhere else. Um, so unfortunately I think that's gonna have to go back. <laughs> Also, I hope Alec doesn't um, watch this and hear this because he is like the biggest stickler about expired food and having expired stuff. And he always loves to go through his mom and get like, his mom's cupboards and fridge and stuff and give her crap about having expired stuff. And I just found a ton of stuff that like expired in 2020. And it's almost 2022. So. I'm throwing out a lot of stuff, which is gonna really help clear up some space. And honestly, it's stuff that I never touch anyways. Uh, this is probably supposed to be refrigerated. That's disgusting. Maybe not. Okay, I guess hot sauce they leave sitting out, but this expired in 21 and we're just gonna get rid of it because no one eats it. <laughs> so there's no need to keep it. This is probably bad. You guys, this is bad. <laughs> Okay, I'm almost done and since I did a lot of rearranging, I am going to make a bunch of new labels since I kind of like moved things around and now they're not labeled. I'm not quite done, but I'm getting close. Okay, so I need one for the... Here is the after fully organized pantry. I feel like I do this so frequently, but it is just impossible to keep it organized. And especially because Alec just like throws stuff in here too when he attempts to put it away. But I feel like it all looks really good. So I'm happy, much more organized and everything is labeled <laughs> perfect. I ended up spending so much time cleaning today, but it makes me so happy to have a beautiful, clean, vacuumed everything apartment. And I'm really liking the rug. I'm just really hoping that the cats don't um, destroy it, but I feel like it looks so much nicer and fresher. It definitely is a little smaller than the other one. I really could have done the nine by 12, but it's okay, it like perfectly fits. And I wonder if also the big one would make the living room like look smaller. Like, you know, sometimes you have too big of a rug, but I think it probably would have been the perfect size, but it's okay. It is what it is. Got back from doing a very light, uh, like 30 minute walk on the treadmill. I had it on like 3.2 with no incline and just like went for a nice 30 minute walk. Um, because after you get Botox, you're not supposed to work out the next day. So very light, um, walk. And now I'm going to make some dinner. We're going to do, would you like to keep crinkling that a little more? <laughs> We're going to do like a taco salad nacho type of thing. So I've got some peppers. I'm going to cut these up and then Alec has some ground turkey I'm going to make. Okay, it's not beautiful, but here is my taco salad and I have some chips and salsa. And Alec has a side salad and a big nacho plate with the turkey. I 
just showered. It's only like eight o'clock, but I showered and already dried my hair and got all ready for bed. And now I'm just comfy on the couch. I'm working on my like 2022 vision mood board, kind of. I might get into it. I'm still like, it's very, it's a work in progress. I've just been messing with a bunch of images and need to like switch some, I have blank spots still. But essentially as it's like the new year, I'm working on writing out all my goals. And then after I did that, I've started making this like vision board to set as like my laptop background and just kind of remind me of my goals throughout the year. So I worked on it for a while last night and then it just started picking it back up again tonight. So that is what I'm going to do probably for the next hour or so and then I might do some reading and go to bed. Oh, also, um, these pajamas I'm wearing are like so, so comfy. They are like satiny material and they're just like an oversized button up pajama. Um, they're so cute and I got them for Christmas from Revolve so I can link them I'm so comfy and they're like very cool and just like um, you don't get too hot in them but they're still like warm enough for winter so I am obsessed I need all the colors <laughs> so I figured I would end the vlog here I'll probably since I have this whole week off I have like so much time to actually film um, and we are going up north for New Year's, I think on Friday. So I'll probably start filming again tomorrow. So make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any more videos coming very soon. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Good night.